Welcome to Tricky's Kitchen, where delicious food is made easy. Today we are preparing mussels curry, which is a delicious seafood recipe. This brings a fresh seaside aroma into the kitchen and takes me 10 years back in time and reminds me of the years when we used to live by the sea. This shellfish is easily available and very cheap to buy and the recipe is very simple and easy to prepare. So let's get started with the ingredients. The ingredients on list 1 and the ingredients on list 2. Note, the ingredients measured using measuring spoons are leveled and not heaped. Preparation Close any open muscles and discard any muscles that continue to remain open. When you close the open muscles, if they close, then they are good to eat. Using a knife, remove the beards from the muscles and scrape off any of the white barnacles from their shells. Then wash and set aside. Add a little water to a vessel and drop in the muscles. Then cover and cook on high for one minute. Turn off the flame after a minute. Open and toss the mussels and check that their shells have opened. Split the mussels into two and discard the empty shells. Also check for any beards if they are still present. Very important note, do not discard the mussel stock. That is the liquid that remains in the vessel after the mussels were steamed. Method Add all the ingredients on list 1 into a grinding jar. Then add a little water and grind into a fine paste and set aside. Heat oil in a wok. Drop in the curry leaves, green chilies and onions. Fry until the onions turn light brown. Add in the tomatoes and fry until the tomatoes soften. Drop in the ground masala and fry well. Add a little water to the jar which was used for grinding the masala and shake well. Then add this masala water and continue to fry. The mussel stock is the liquid that remained in the vessel after the mussels were steamed. This is very important. Add the mussel stock and fry well. This is what gives the dish its taste. Add required amount of water and mix. Cover and bring to boil. Add in the coconut milk powder and aromatic salt. Then add tamarind to taste and mix. You can check out the recipe for aromatic salt on the YouTube channel. Add salt to taste and add water if required and cook. Then drop in the mussels and continue to cook. Add green coriander and mix. Cover and simmer until the mussels are cooked. Open and mix at regular intervals. Taste and add salt if needed. Add lemon juice as required and mix. Garnish with green coriander. You can serve with rice or any other food accompaniments of your choice. Enjoy! If you liked this simple and easy recipe, be sure to like, share and subscribe to Tricky's Kitchen where delicious food is made easy.